sisters, it's Big Bang Experiment time again. Now, who loves spinach? Spinach leaves are green. And I think you know why. Yes, it's because of the green pigment chlorophyll. If you remember, chlorophyll is what absorbs sunlight so that plants can make food through photosynthesis. Many plants and vegetables look green, but I wonder if there are any other colors inside them. Now grab your spinach leaves. You can just use your hands and rip them right up. Hey, remember, make sure to make them as tiny as possible. How's yours looking, chipsters? All right, ready for the next part? So next, we're going to carefully open up the lid to the bottle and pour the alcohol into the jar. We're using just regular rubbing alcohol. That'll do. And remember, you don't need too much, just enough to cover the spinach leaves and soak them up. Ready? Just a little. All right. I I think I'm almost there. Yep, that looks pretty good. So next we're gonna mix up the spinach leaves in our alcohol. I've got a fork, but you can use a spoon or any other mixing utensil to do this. And what we're doing is we're trying to release the chloroplast from the leaves into the alcohol. Hey chipsters, you wanna do something more fun? We're gonna take our lid, close up our jar real tight, and give it a shake so the chloroplast can come out even faster. And we're gonna shake our jar, all right? Make sure it's closed real tight so the liquid doesn't spill all over you. So you can now just put your jar to the side because for the next step, all we need is our coffee filter, scissors, and our grown-up to help supervise us while we're cutting. So you're going to take your coffee filter and cut a long rectangular strip from it. All you need to do is make sure your strip ends up looking something like this. So go ahead and bring back your jar, grab your filter strip, and we're going to put the strip into the liquid. You're going to put part of it inside and keep part of it outside. Just take it in and just make sure the tip is just touching the liquid. So the experiment that we're doing here is called chromatography. Now what should happen is that the spinach juice should crawl up our filter and leave different colors behind along the filter. Now different colors travel at different speeds. That's why they'll be spaced, if we're lucky, along different places of the filter. Chromatography takes some time. It's quite slow, so you might want to observe your data every two hours. Hey, Chipsters, what do you see on my filter? And even around the side of my jar? It's different colors. Isn't that amazing? Hey, look, we have dark green into a lighter green, into some brown, and a little faint bit of yellow at the top. That's awesome. So we can conclude that the main color pigment in spinach is green. You see the dark green? That's because of the chlorophyll, which is the green pigment in the leaves. But because we also see some brown and yellow, that probably means that there are other pigments in the leaves too. Want to watch the full video? Sign up now and get started with your own free trial.